Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome on board. The cruise phase is a major part of any flight where the pilots comparatively have minimum workload and the part where you want the flight management computers to calculate the best fuel economy. Now here on a 737, we're cruising at flight level 300, that is 30,000 feet, L Navi Nav is on, speed window is closed, auto throttle is armed, FDs are on, and last but not least, autopilot command A is on, which means autopilot via the FMC is running the entire show. Let's take a look at the FMA. Command A, FMC speed, L Nav V Nav path. Confirmation of what we just saw on the MCP. FMC cruise page. Econ prompt is uh, shown, that means we are not flying at econ speed. We have target speed set to decimal 75. Uh, let's go to Lex page and you can see mark decimal 75 uh, shown at all the waypoints till the pass, which is the star waypoint, and we'll be descending there. Now let's go back to the cruise page and select econ and see what happens. Target speed becomes decimal 704, and uh, on Lex page, we can see the speeds have changed not just to decimal 704, but later it's 703, 701, 700 based on what's the best econ speed as per the FMC. And when we execute, the speed is set by the FMC and speed window stays closed. We can change it to decimal 78 and execute. Speed changes again without having to manually select the speed from the MCP. Uh, we can also manually hit the speed intervention key over here and choose a speed. Basically keeping the speed window open and the FMC says target speed MCP. But if the speed window is open, it becomes the pilot's responsibility to take care of it. And if there's any speed restriction, it won't be honored. So in general and uh, not necessarily, a pilot doesn't like to see the speed window open. And uh, when would you want to use a speed intervention, one might ask? Well, at times, uh, there's a sudden turbulent patch of air and we might want to dial down the speed by a click or so, as per the norms. Speed intervention is the fastest way to do so. And when done, close the speed window again. Now on a 320, same scenario, we're approaching flight level 300, fully managed right now, or on the Boeing's term, let's say, El Navi Nav's engaged. And here on climb page, it says manage speed, which is in green and uh, cannot be changed. On flight plan page, we can see the speed is managed, decimal 73 all the way, which means that Airbus picks up an average econ speed unlike the Boeing's changing speed waypoint by waypoint. But that's true only for short flights. For long flights, uh, the managed speed changes in Airbus as well. And on cruise page, we can see manage speed and we also can pre-select a speed. So let's pre-select decimal 78. Approaching flight level 300. Mark all star. Decimal 78. And all cruise. But this is a very short video I've made about uh, what's all cruise. Check it out if you want to. So now the speed is selected or in the Boeing's term, speed intervention, speed window is open. Can I have a managed speed of decimal 78? Well, from the cruise page, no. So if I manage the speed from the FCU by pressing it, it goes to manage speed and we cannot have a desired speed as managed unlike in the Boeing's. So what we can do is we can go to the flight plan page and enter the speed for each waypoint, which is again a very lengthy process. Or else we can go here and choose constant mark, choose a speed, then choose a start waypoint and end waypoint. And she works like a charm. So that's a little different way of doing things on Airbus. Uh, now I really feel lucky to have been trained on both aircrafts to appreciate the difference and how it doesn't make one better than the other. They're just two different sides or the same coin so basically they have the same value well i hope you learned something new thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one ciao